according to Yvonne Shishora, she is recovering from a leg injury and brain tumor, and with her meager earnings from the force, she is unable to provide accommodation for her family of seven, which consists of herself, three boys, and three girls. She says the COVID-19 pandemic has only worsened things for her family as they have been forced to move from house to house with the hope of finding a place to call home. After learning of an empty flat located behind Bain Center, Shishora decided to seek refuge in what appeared to be an abandoned state facility. I decided to clean and move into this unoccupied government flat. Yesterday I was approached by my colleagues and the regional commander. They informed me to move out or they will arrest me. I told them to arrest me as I have nowhere to go with my children in this cold. On Tuesday, Shishora was approached by Salma Pietris, an employee of the Ministry of Works and Transport and her colleagues, asking her to vacate the building as it was allegedly allocated to Pietris in December 2019. The flat in question has been empty since January 2020, according to Minister of Works and Transport people living on the premises. There are about 20 flats altogether, mostly in a dilapidated state, as could be seen from outside. Pietrus is currently an occupant of a one-bedroom government apartment elsewhere in Vintuk. After Shishaura refused to leave the officials called in Ella Hilokwa, a director in the Ministry of Transport and Works, and its spokesperson, Julius Ngweda, who also chairs the Housing Allocation Committee, to explain why she should vacate the premises. We explained even last night uh, uh, the procedure that needs to be followed. Uh, that we, 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 as a ministry, we do understand of her uh, need and uh, uh, we, we informed her that their procedure, what she needs to do is just to pick up the application forms at the ministry, fill in the application forms, attach all the necessary documents which needs to be attached on this uh, accommodation uh, 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 form, and uh, she must also put a covering letter from her immediate now commander unit or whichever commander who can sign that covering letter and then she will then have to forward uh, that application to the Ministry of Works and Transport. And once then we receive this particular application, uh, then the, the committee will then sit and uh, 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 deliberate on this particular application, just like any other applications that which are forwarded to the Ministry and we look at it. It has been a common tendency of uh, public servants just breaking into the flats illegally. And uh, currently, as you are speaking, I have a list which is at to my table there, and that list is around 29-28 illegal occupants, which that list is even uh, dropped because it was around 30-something last year. And those are the people who are breaking in, and most of the majority is uh, coming from the police and the NDF. So the people working under those two ministries, they are giving us ethic, but we expected them to be the one who are leading by example, because if a police officer is coming now and breaking into a flat, they know very well the consequences. But regardless of that, they don't seem to be interested on the consequences. Feeling hopeless, Shishaura returned to Katutura Central Constituency Councillor Ambrosius Kanji for help. Uh, the unfortunate part is the, we tried to resolve this matter around the table. We spoke to stakeholders like the deputy ministers and as well as the EG. I also spoke to the minister. They seem to me we are living in two, two different governments. The minister was saying he's waiting for feedback from his people and then he will talk to me. The deputy minister, Kromerit Nekundi, stopped them from executing their responsibility. They refused to listen to the deputy minister. They said, who's the deputy minister? He, or he has nothing to decide here. The deputy ED, Mr. Francis, called me and asked them to, to retreat and to come back to the office and resolve the matter. They continue because of their personal interest. What we are told is that some of the interests that are there, these people are linked, they are family, they are working together. It's an issue of nepotism. It's an issue of, uh, of corruption that has been practiced by our own comrade. How do you remove these poor people during the corona? Where do you expect them to go and sleep? 
There is no court order. There is no uh, anything from the court. They use the, the laborer from the Ministry of Works to come and remove the stuff. Dismissing him, Gweda said. We agree in writing uh, where the particular lady that uh, broke into this government flat, she agreed to leave today uh, the flat by 10 o'clock uh, in the morning. And, and we put it in writing and we, all of us, both parties, she has signed and the Minister of Works and Transport signed for, for that agreement that she will today leave this particular flat that she has uh, illegally break into uh, or illegally occupied since uh, yesterday. Uh, that was the conclusion.